what's up guys uh, in this video I want to walk you around the gravely uh, pro stance uh, in particular the 52 inch uh, model uh, we have two of them now uh, one goes on each crew and then we also have a gravely uh, pro stance 36 inch that goes uh, with each crew so each crew has a 52 and a 36 on the trailer uh, and there's pretty much uh, you know good uniformity continuity um, between between both crews pretty much have the exact same setup on, on both of them now, our mowers, the 52 inch mowers, are the exact same year uh, and model number. And then our 36 inches are also the same. The 36 inches are a year or two prior, and the 52 inch models are, are the, the new ones. Now, I did buy a brand new 36 inch Pro Stance this year, but I bought the old model of that just so I could have the exact same mower as what we currently have been running for the last couple of years. Um, with that older version 36 inch. Uh, many of you know that I preach continuity and equipment, um, so that was the reason for, for, for getting the same type of, of mower, okay? Again, it makes replacement parts easier, you know, belts and oil changes, everything's the exact same on the mower, uh, and, I, and I like that, okay? I like having everything the exact same. So we got a real good feel for these machines, and I can really speak into um, if I think this machine is worth buying, and we're gonna talk about some of the things that I really, really like about the machine and maybe uh, a couple things that I feel like gravely I could have done better on the machine. But uh, that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. I think you guys are gonna enjoy. Okay, so this is the uh, 52 inch model, obviously. There's a 36 inch. That's the uh, previous um, version of, of this machine. This is the, the quote, new um, version of the machine. Um, but this still is a new, new machine for us. Um, but again, I just got the last year's model um, just so we could have the exact same 36 cents as what's currently on the other uh, truck. So this mower right here, um, so the feedback that I have on this mower and the feedback um, from, from the guys on the mower is that we are very, 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 very pleased with this mower. And in fact, um, everybody has said that it has been their favorite mower that they have had thus far, uh, even over this one right here, okay? Um, the things that have really stuck out um, about this mower is the the operation of the machine it's just it is extremely smooth uh, it's just a very very uh, nice easy to handle machine it's, it's not jerky um, they've really done a good job with just making it um, really a, a joy to drive um, the uh, platform um, we really like that it is a a wide platform there's plenty plenty of room there um, to spread your feet out and not feel like you're cramped up. And again, I'm just going to kind of go through all the things that have stuck out that I really like. The cut quality on this machine is very, very, very good, okay? The issue that I had with the 452, the, um, the Pro Turn 452 Gravely, um, the reason we got rid of that machine was because it just did not cut well. I mean, I, I mean, you know, we made some adjustments to the baffles and it cut better, but it was still just you just know man like you know when the machine is cutting good and when it's not and that 452 um it really just it just that x factor 2 deck for whatever reason didn't cut well but but that exact same deck or this is called the x factor 2 deck it's on this mower but this one cuts really 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 well and there's no issues with this machine and i don't i don't understand how that works all i know and my guys know is that this four uh pro stance 52 inch cuts way better than the um, 452 that we had okay all right so um, we've talked about the um, operator platform in the back how smooth the uh, controls are um, the cut quality is really really good um, I just like the simplicity of, of the machine let me show you how the uh, deck adjusts okay just your standard pin system when you just uh, put the pin uh, into the hole and um, just drop drop the lever down to the select select your cut height. You know, I was really a fan of the of the old version where they had that uh, they had that dial that you could spin. I thought that was a really great uh, design, um, and I was kind of bummed that they went back to the pin system. But really, um, this is super fast, man, and this is just it's just a dummy proof system. Okay, apparently there were some issues um, with that belt breaking. Um, on that adjustment dial and that's why they went did away with that and went back uh, to the pin system somebody correct me on that if I'm on, if I'm wrong but that's that's what I've heard okay 
Um, I actually added this little uh, trash bucket uh, holder uh, to, to our mowers. And it's been a great addition, man. It's just uh, nice to be able to just have a dedicated spot to, you know, when you're out, you know, mowing, just step off really quick, pick it up and just have somewhere to put it. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting this right here. It's just, just a little creature comfort that's really nice to have. Um, other than that, guys, um, you know, the, the, the machine itself, again, we've just, we've just really, really enjoyed the machine. It cuts really well. It's super, super smooth to drive. Uh, it's very, very intuitive. Um, and it's comfortable, you know, r riding across yards. It's just, it's just a, we've really, really enjoyed the machine. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about a couple of things that I feel like they could have done better on this machine. And the first is that uh, this platform right here, whenever there is a heavy rain or you wash your mower off or, you know, let's say you, you know, get up in the morning or whatever and there was a heavy rain the night before, this platform fills up with water. And it holds that water really, really well. And the only way you can get it off um, without drilling holes in the deck is to, you know, back your mower up off the gate of your trailer and then kind of do a backwards and forward shuffle to let that water kind of kind of drain out. It's not a super big deal, but uh, it would have just made sense, you know, if they had to just drilled some holes uh, down on the side of the mower or in the sides of the platform just to uh, just to let the water drain. I don't I don't really know the reason why they didn't do that, but that does hold water. And that's definitely something that you need to do um, to keep it from holding water. Uh, to that point, this uh, pad right here, it is a super comfortable pad. Um, but that being said, again, on a uh, heavy rain, this pad, dude, it just, it stays like soaking wet. Like you can lean up and like your knees into this pad. And I mean, it w w won't have rain for like a day and a half or two days. And if you push your knees into that thing, like you're still gonna get your knees soaking wet. Uh, you know, and, and other seats, like on mowers, like they don't do that. You know, you're not you're not wet like a day after. And it was just kind of a strange thing, you know. So the, again, the pad is comfortable, but for whatever reason, it holds water like really, really bad. Whereas last year's model uh, didn't. Like I've never noticed that issue at all. So I don't know if it's a different material, um, if the design is different on top and water seeping in somehow. Um, but it it is noticeable that this does hold water okay the other thing is that this um the the discharge chute right here it uh it's kind of rattly to me um <clears throat> i don't know how else to say it other than it's just it's just kind of more rattly than what i would like it to be um the guys uh their theirs was so rattly we ended up taking it off and i actually have uh i have three OCDC shoot sitting in the garage right now that I need to put on just haven't found time to do it um, but you know if you're buying a mower um, you know I realize that most of us are running the OCDC shoots but still if this is what you're gonna start with like you don't want sorry we had a call if you're buying the mower brand new you know uh, you shouldn't have to hear this thing rattling around and you know we checked to make sure everything was tight but uh for whatever reason it just kind of made a lot of noise um, but again um, this is going to be coming off pretty soon anyways, and we're just going with the OCDC chute. So, again, the things that, I, that I'm not crazy about on the mower was a uh, platform. It needs to have holes in it, um, so it'll drain. The, uh, the pad right here, um, the operator uh, pad rest, it, it holds water really bad. And this right here was a little funky. Um, that being said, guys, uh, that's, it's really, that's just some nitpicking stuff. Um, and, and again, the common consensus on this machine is that everybody absolutely loves it. Okay, I'm very careful not to overanalyze mowers, you know, but, but the fact of the matter is, is whenever you're spending that much money on a machine, you want to make sure you're getting um, the best for your money, and I totally get that, okay? But let me tell you, man, just a reminder, don't get too caught up um, in the sexiness of equipment and all that stuff. At the end of the day, um, does it cut grass well, and is it a reliable uh, piece of equipment? And uh, I will tell you that the, uh, the Gravely Pro Stance 52 inch models, the new models, um, they have my stamp of approval, man. Um, they're enjoyable to drive because they're so smooth. Um, they cut really well um, and they're very user friendly uh, to operate um, whenever you're out um, in the thick of things um, day in and day out, okay? So I uh, hope that helps somebody out, uh, make a choice, but uh, definitely is a machine that we have enjoyed here at Florida Turf Pros this year.